Hello everybody, Spore Knight here, and welcome to The Walking Dead Episode 1. I believe this is Episode 1. Yeah, it looks like it. Anyways, um... I decided for Halloween that I would play this game. I've never played it before. I've heard it's pretty good. I've never watched the TV series. So, shame me for that or whatever, but let's do it. Um... I'm going to do standard. Episode one, a new day. Play. Yay. It adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. So I'm gonna play how I would play. Not necessarily what might be best for the characters, but just how I would make decisions, so. Ah, that's loud. Just the volume. Episode 1, A New Day. That guy looks creepy. And I don't know who the black guy is, so I if that's well I, I reckon you didn't do it then do you say um does it really matter does it really matter nah not much you know I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison Lord knows how many usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it Every time? Every time? Every time. Huh. We got what looks like a 1091 e near Peach 3 x 285. All cars ask to keep on the lookout for a 91 e in the area. At the rear view mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. So you've got an opinion? What do you think? So you've got, you've an, got opinion. an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. Be advised, uh, medical personnel and route to heart and seal, various tents and twenty coming in. There's some sort of police thing going on at the same time. I got as well, a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Questions in specific. Not really. Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Ah. I misunderstood his question. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Or she married the wrong guy. <laughs> Riot in progress. All officers are available for each other 217. Rolling calls and dispatches to all locations. Huh. I should have asked about that when I had the chance. Oh, the radio. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. <laughs> he was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's gotta stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big <laughs> mistake. It wasn't me. So 
So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. Oh, I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... Oh boy. Sambo. There's quite a bit of rolling there. Man. I only just saw the zombie coming, like, a little bit before they hit. Zombies get into the front seat of the car. Ooh. Look to your left, dude. Dude, your left. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah. Dragged out. Chuck in there. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Why the hell did he have his gun out? Huh. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is the best thing to do, <clears throat> but kick. So I'm sorry I wasn't talking during that whole sequence, so it's just a lot of talking from uh, them going on, so... Uh, I need to drag myself out that window. W key to move forward. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay. That's quite a hill there that they went off. Did the officer become a Zambo? I'm going to go straight for the shotgun. No. The officer's shotgun is in there. Looks empty. Ah. That's a shame. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. There was a thing over here. Ooh, shotgun shell. That's good. Officer? He looks pretty dead. Over there, Zamboed. Just gonna take those. Unlock the handcuffs, please, and thank you. Shit. Oh, no. Spy's face. Oh. Please don't drop them again. I would very much like to walk backwards now. Officer. Oh! Holy shit! I knew that was gonna happen. What in the hell? Get away from me! Good thing I had the shell already. Where are you? Don't make me do this! 
Oh, goodness. Whew. Sambo. Man. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? There's a little girl up there. Is this the mysterious clam I've heard about? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! your prey which is good makes sense Ooh. I'm gonna record for as long as I can um there's a certain point in which I need hello to stop. anybody no ladder I'm not getting up there anyway this leg the way it is. Talk to the treehouse. Anybody up there? I'll fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! Kind of flowed along the pool edge. <laughs> the spooky, scariest thing you'll see of all Halloween. No, but really. Um. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. What are these comments say me? I know I'm selecting these areas, but honestly, just calm somebody down. yell if you can hear me. Maybe I should just. Check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Yeah, I was gonna do that anyways, but okay. I wonder if anybody's home. Select. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Open it. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Close the door behind you, dude. Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people here. might need more help than I do. A unicorn. Woo. <laughs> At least there's a little bit of happiness here, but you know, whatever. Okay, fruit bowl. It's fake, damn. Yeah, some food here would probably. Why is there blood? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> of course.
Ooh, walkie-talkie would be good. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. What's that beeping? Uh, I'm I'm gonna go for the <sighs> beeping noise. I would say it's like an answering machine. I don't know how to select the walkie-talkie, but whatever. There are three new messages. Yes, yes. I get that there's messages. I'm gonna listen to the messages. In just a second, after I open up all the cupboards, all of them, every cupboard, in the refrigerator. Hmm, the Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Hmm. Interesting. Go around the blood this time. There we go. Nope, I already saw the coloring book. Ah! <laughs> Maybe there's something on there. Should I look at all the other things in the house first? I'm going. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. I wonder what actually. There are three happened. new messages. Yes, I know that will advance the plot. I'm God. sorry. A kid lived here. Clementine. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Ugh, cable's out. Of course it is, it's the Zombo Apocalypse. By the way, I say Zombo. <laughs> just to help my own insecurities with zombies, so. Three new messages. New messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him oh. back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, hmm. left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, oh. please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message oh. 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. It's 9 one, one We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, boy. Clementine was the girl that I saw. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are, Are you okay? okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. I should let her know. Where are your parents? Probably this. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Ah, the blood again? Jesus, stop! 
Stop falling, idiot. No. Just do it. Take it. Hit. Okay. Just keep hitting. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Was that Sandra? Ugh. Ooh, man. Hi there. Did you kill it? To be honest, I don't, I don't know. know. I think so. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I'm not sure they will. I'm sorry, little Clementine. I think Clementine. that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um... Look we need to find help before it gets yeah. dark. We need to find other people. Yeah, it's not safe at night. And we can go, go and ransack houses and stuff to like that to get supplies and whatnot. I just don't know how to select it, you know? It's weird. I'm just pressing W and it's going this way. Like, it's because it's at an angle or whatever. Uh, uh, oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. The What's the matter? Should I stay? What? No. I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't think they will be. I won't oh. leave you alone. Okay. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Okay. It's rational for her to be worried, but we can't stay here. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We we're need help. Out. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Oh. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some, some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... It's good to be honest with this. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Push. Right there. Push again. We're just 
some guy? It seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. I don't know what's going on in Atlanta, but I'd say probably not good. Okay, so I said just some guy because it's best to not lie in any situation. Be crystal clear with what's going on. So, I know it's like, they were kind of like, just some guy? And it's like, it's important. Like, I'm not the babysitter, I'm not the neighbor. I'm just some guy, so. Okay, here's the farm. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. <clears throat> Chet's gonna be a Zambo tomorrow, probably. Ugh. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Not daughter. Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you okay. hurt your leg pretty bad there. Good that she lied to uh, then. Yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okay, good. Finally getting some help for the leg. Why do you Let's have a look. In? Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be, Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. <sighs> How'd this happen? Car, car accident. accident. Yeah. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Just, uh, out for a drive. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Yeah. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We oh, got another displaced no. family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Is it same daughter? I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around that's, the farm. That's a good thing to do, yes. That doesn't seem necessary. Oh, do it. I don't know Def what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious... Shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already Please. said okay. Good, good, okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. That's good. If your leg gets hot... I should have said that I was with you. down, you're sure. probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. 
He's just oh, kind of right awkward there. around the girl. Herschel Green is kind of just awkward with Clementine, so. It smells like. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How so far is Savannah? Zombie apocalypse. Pretty far. Oh, okay. Baseball caps are not good to sleep in. <laughs> Just gonna say. I love you, baby. <laughs> oh boy. He's thinking about what got him going to prison. Hey, get up. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna build a fence! There's a tractor and everything! We're gonna build a fence! We better fence. get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Yeah. That's my boy, that. Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. <laughs> Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. It is. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Okay. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. That's good. I should probably check and see if there's anything I should grab in here. Oh, nope, that's the end there, so... Oh, I just looked at him. I didn't actually speak with him. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! No, don't lift with your back. You know back. how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Yeah, hey, Lee. I can see that. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Okay. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Twice. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. 
Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Yeah. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. Okay. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay. Good that I could talk with him, though. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Okay, that's good. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Okay, I can't walk up on the porch, but I can talk with these people. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. Which is I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, hmm? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Yeah. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Yeah. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We okay. need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Please, don't. Huh. My mistake. Yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Yeah, he used to, like, he got fired because of something that he did or something like that. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. That's good. Hey there, uh, Kenny. I think I'm gonna finish this section and then end the episode. Um... How's your how's son you doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Okay. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, no kids. Nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's, what's your, your family's plan? plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See that you. Would, might be a good thing to do. Okay. Seems like those two are getting along. I don't know what I need to do now. Oh. 
Herschel Green's back in there, so obviously that's where I need to go. I've spoken to everybody. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife, girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Yeah. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better did, back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! I should have helped the kid. I should have helped the kid. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch no. you up. No. No. It almost... It almost got me, man. It... Lee tried to save me. He's going to turn into a zombie as well. I know, son. Oh. I... Uh... He's gonna wake up a zombie in just a second. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. I keep saying it's my daughter and I Just keep saying don't. that it's not. Get out and never come back. 
Herschel and his son are both going to become zombies. I feel sorry for him, but it's not Kenny's fault. You've got that grind to make it if you want it. You should go to make it. Okay. I'm going to end that episode there. Um, I'm pretty sure it saved right there. I hope it did. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down be below. And happy Halloween. Have a great day. Bye-bye.